All right, I'm about to show you guys my expander. We are about to get so up close and personal right now. Let me grab this mirror. And the damn mirror broke. Lovely. <laughs> it's a beast. It looks like I got a spider up there or something. You can crank that baby every other day. Yesterday. Most of the time, the cranking doesn't hurt, but yesterday I really felt it like it's traumatic. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be talking about palette expanders. <clears throat> I've had a palette expander for about three weeks now um, and I've learned a lot. Palette expansion is one of the first steps in my adult braces journey. Journey? Journey? See? Journey is one of the words I still can't say. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was terrified. I was literally terrified when she told me, oh, we have to crank your jaw open three to four millimeters. I don't even know what a millimeter is let alone having the bones in my face break apart. I was not happy. Today, I have five tips, five things that I've learned that I hope can help someone out there who is anticipating getting a palette expander, who's dreading it, who has one now, what have you. So, um, I am going to be doing a more in-depth video about my braces journey, um, but today, we're gonna keep it simple stupid. So my first tip is to have the right supplies. And by supplies, I mean a good old simple toothbrush and toothpaste. I am not caught dead without these in public. So the tip is to get these and take them with you. Um, it's really important after you eat to uh, get all up in there and get all the gunk out. Um, and so toothbrush and toothpaste are the best way to do it. The other little gadget that I bring everywhere with me is one of these little flossy thingies. Um, this is like a dental pick. Um, you can get these on Amazon, um, like, you know, 75 million of them for like nine bucks. Um, these things are really nice for getting up top. There are going to be a ton of foods that get stuck in the top of your palate expander. Spinach, chicken, beef, tacos, uh, cheese. Cheese is really gross. Um, and you're going to want to get those things out ASAP. My second tip on the note of... Uh, equipment is this little gadget right here and this is a water flosser um i got this thing from target for about 35 dollars. i actually had this thing before i uh, decided to get a bunch of dental work done um just because it's um a lot easier lazy it's a lot easier than actually flossing like i don't like flossing i do do it but i don't like it um, this thing is super cool for getting up over top of the palette expander and getting the food that's stuck in between your expander and your the top the roof of your mouth out. Okay, so it's portable. You plug it in here to charge. Um, you fill up this little tank with water and then you just spray away. And it's it does pretty good force. It has a high and a low setting. Um, and this thing has been really useful to get that deep cleaning at the end of the day. My third tip is uh, really going to be helpful for those people who struggle to actually turn their expander. So. I don't have anyone to turn my expander for me, nor would I want anyone jamming their fist in my mouth every other day. Um, and so I have to turn my expander myself. And one of the ways that I do that is with this little vanity mirror right here. And so this is really helpful. So instead of looking forward at a mirror and tipping your head back, instead with this, you can put the mirror up in front and look down. This is also helpful for my ladies who like to put on false lashes. Always look down. Um, and it's really easy to stick the key into the hole to be able to see the hole so that you can turn the expander um, at night, whether it be every night, every other night, every three days, or whatever your schedule is. I don't know. My fourth tip is to get your palette expander installed on a Friday because, or better yet, on a day where you have some time off afterwards. And so I work a full nine to five job. Um, I was really kind of nervous about how my coworkers would perceive me talking kind of like, come to find out they didn't give a shit. Um, I 
purposely got it on a Friday so that I could have Saturday and Sunday to practice talking. Like my husband doesn't care about my expander. Um, he actually thought it was kind of funny, but that gave me two days to kind of practice talking with it in and it really helped me build up the confidence to go into work. Now I still was a little lispy after the first two, three, four, even a week. Um, I was still kind of like, I can't say T or can't say E or journey or, you know, like I said at the beginning. Having those couple of days of practice, talk to yourself, read books aloud, sing in the car, do whatever you have to do to get as much practice in so that you feel confident when you go back into your next, uh, your next day at work or your next day at class or that kind of thing. Um, and just be okay with the fact that you're going to sound a little weird. It's going to be six months to a year of you sounding a little weird. And that's just kind of the way it is. Who cares? Uh, my fifth and final tip is to when you are getting used to your expander and you're starting to eat, take smaller bites. And so the reason I say this is I started eating the first time after I got my expander installed and felt like I couldn't move the food around like I used to just because there was this big piece of metal in my mouth. And so I learned to take much smaller bites so that my tongue could figure out how to move the, the food back and forth between my teeth so that I could effectively chew. And so when you're getting started, um, when you're first, you know, learning how to eat with it in, it does feel like you have chicken bones in your mouth. I don't know if anyone else feels like that, but I feel like there were chicken bones in my mouth. Um, make sure that um, you just take really small bites so that you can get used to the feeling of your mouth and how it feels to eat with the expander in. Final bonus tip. Um, you're doing this for you, hopefully. And so don't worry about what other people have to say because honestly, I've had people say, oh, wow, you sound really weird. And I'm like, you know what? It, I don't care because I'm doing this for me and at the end, I'm gonna have magnificent, beautiful teeth. And that's all that matters. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video or found any of these tips helpful, or if you have an expander or will be getting an expander soon, make sure to thumbs up this video. I'm gonna be making more in-depth videos about palette expansion, my experience, as well as my adult braces journey. So make sure to subscribe to stay tuned. I will talk to y'all next time. Bye.